This is the free motion quilting tutorial for flowing leaves. This design is stitched by first coming up with a simple leaf shape, then stitching inside of that with a wiggly line to create a vine, and then branch out from that with little leaf veins. You're going to fill up that entire leaf shape from the vine line all the way to the edges of the leaf with these straight lines. Or they can be slightly curved. It's really up to you, however you want to make your design. And the travel stitching is really going to build up your thread quite a lot in this design. And what I'm doing is I'm actually going back and taking that line all the way to the tips. And it's really just going to be something that you have to have to practice with. A lot of people struggle with travel stitching when they first get started free motion quilting. And the main reason is uh, it just requires practice. And it also requires playing with your threads to try and figure out what thread you need to use and what will work best for stitching over the same area many times. So you can see once you fill your leaf with the uh, straight lines of the leaf veins, you're just simply going to pivot and echo around that shape several times to build it up and make it look really pretty on the surface of your quilt. Then just simply branch out in a new direction with a new leaf shape and another vine and more little veins inside of it. I just want to stitch very carefully and you notice that I'm not going fast. Whenever I stitch in the center of the leaves I'm actually slowing down quite a bit and stitching very very carefully and this allows me to stitch right on top of the previous line of stitching and not stitch off. Once I get outside of that leaf, get it completely filled, I'm just going to pivot and echo around it. And I'm going to have this kind of weird area over here on the side so I'm just going to try and take my echoes into that area so it fills it up completely and it doesn't leave any open gaps, any open spaces in the design. I like my designs to be filled completely with texture, completely with thread. So I'm going to fill that up completely. And then just continue making another echo around that side of the leaf. You can see how this the lines of echo quilting really make each leaf stand out beautifully on the surface of the quilt. And even when they're all kind of squished together in this situation, as you can see right here, they still stand out nicely and you can see the difference between all of them. You are going to have some weird areas even in between the leaves. You can see right here I'm just trying to squish this leaf in in this little weird area and it doesn't really even have a complete leaf shape. It doesn't have a tip, it doesn't have a, a base, and that's okay. Sometimes you're just going to have to cut it in half or cut it in a quarter in order to fit it into the area you need to go. And here's what it looks like whenever you finish flowing leaves. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love the over 350 videos you can find at the Free Motion Quilting Project. Check it out at freemotionproject.com.